Welcome to the Heal Your Hunger Show, where we get to the heart of why you overeat and how to stop. If you struggle with food and weight like I did, welcome home. Welcome to the Heal Your Hunger Show. I'm so happy that you've joined me here today. If you struggle with food and weight or uh, just crazy compulsions around food, I want to tell you, you are in the right place. That was me. I was 50 pounds overweight and I hated every minute of it. I hated my body. I hated myself. I hated uh, how out of control with food I was. And uh, today, by the grace of God, it's not that way. And I'm going to share with you on this show always important topics that have to do with emotional eating. And if you don't relate to being an emotional eater, but you're curious, I think you'll learn more about what being an emotional eater is about. And I'm not here to indict you. It doesn't really matter what you call yourself. If you want to have a a more kind and compassionate relationship with food and one where you feel supported by food and not an enemy of food, you're in the right place. Now, first, I want to talk to you about the Heal Your Hunger Workshop, because if you haven't registered, you absolutely must. There's a link here in the show notes, um, and I just want to say that I have had the absolute pleasure of interviewing 40 top experts uh, in the uh, various fields of health uh, regarding hunger. Okay, so what I am all about is dealing with the underlying causes of emotional hunger and physical aspects of hunger as well. And so these experts are coming at it from all different angles, but we really unpack this topic and uh, really flesh out what it what hunger is about and what it means to heal your hunger. So I hope you'll register. It's free. Um, the, the interviews are amazing. They're only 30 minutes long and, uh, that makes them easily consumable and digestible, if you will. And, uh, and they're, they're spot on, but even more important, it's called the workshop because there's a worksheet after each interview that you can access where you will be able to take action steps. They will have each worksheet has a specific action steps you can take right away. So you get results right away, because if you've ever been to summits where there's lots of interviews, you listen to them, it's great information. You're inspired at the moment and then nothing happens. It just falls flat. Well, this is uh, getting you into action right away so you can get results right away. So check it out. It's free. Tell your friends. Uh, It starts um, very soon. And I want you to have access to all this information that can truly help you heal your hunger. So today's topic is overwhelm. This is a really tough emotion for people like us, emotional eaters, uh, because we get overwhelmed. You know, we're emotional and and life seems hard. I mean, I grew up thinking life was so hard, I didn't know if I was going to make it. <laughs> you know, I was in fourth grade and I thought there's no way I can go to fifth grade or, or from um, matriculating from elementary school to middle school felt like such a big thing. Like, I couldn't possibly do it. And so I had so much fear and so much overwhelm. And, and I just thought life was too much for me. Well, um, that feeling is, it didn't end in middle school. I have frequently, uh, revisited that feeling or it's, it's revisited me. And so I want to talk about that because I had a revelation this past week that, really, really transformed me. And I, I'm just dying to share it with you because I know it can help you as well. So it all started about a week ago when I was at a training and I uh, met a man who has developed a, an amazing cream for treating pain, physical pain in your body. And when I was talking to him about this uh, cream and he actually gave me a sample and I began to use it, what he said is that the cream works because it has essential oils in it and it has uh, these um, energetic vibrations and these different things uh, that make up this cream. And the reason why it works is because it's, it's not so much about the actual pain, uh, the localized pain, but we have associative thoughts and feelings around our pain that 
causes us to feel pain or project the feeling of pain. And so it's not that you aren't in pain, it's just that you might have these uh, sort of runaway thoughts around your pain, like, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to uh, get up in the morning and go to work, I'm not gonna get my paycheck, I'm not gonna be able to feed my family, or you know, I'm growing old and I'm not ready to be old, or I'm not gonna be able to play with my kids, or whatever runaway thoughts happen, when we have pain, that actually generates more pain or it generates the pain that we feel. And when he told me that, I thought that was interesting. I didn't think anything much more about it. I just thought, wow, that's an interesting concept that our pain isn't actually pain. It's just thoughts associated with with, um, with that injury or with that pain that creates um, a, a perpetual pain or chronic pain. Well, Put that aside, I went about my business. During the week, I began to feel overwhelmed. I am working on this big project, the Heal Your Hunger Workshop, and um, and I I think what happened was there's a lot of different parts, uh, moving parts to this thing, and I was feeling very overwhelmed. I also was starting to feel afraid about the success of it and, and what would happen there. And it snowballed into a very dark consciousness of, oh my God, I'm doomed. <laughs> like I'm doomed. It's way too much. I can't handle it. And what happened was, is that I, I had these runaway thoughts like, it's never going to work or I suck or I, you know, I'm missing something or, um, uh, or I'm never, I'm never going to be a success or I don't know even what thoughts I was having, but there were around these negative self-defeating ideas that, uh, that I'm going to fail. And, um, I began to just get really dark and down and depressed. And it was a heavy feeling. It was really heavy. And I'm generally not a heavy person. I I, um, I, I have been in the past, um, but through my process of healing, I've become a lot lighter and lighter and more joyful and just a generally happy person. So these thoughts and feelings I was having was were really weighing me down and I was dark and I was heavy. And oh, it was it was hard. It was really hard, and it, it just life feel, felt hard. And what's the point? And you know, it's like I went on a a real, I went down a real rabbit hole. And it felt so bad. And and I felt as though God, if I stay in this frame of mind, I you know I I could definitely see myself starting to comfort myself with food and I didn't feel any compulsion to eat and I wasn't in that place of overeating but I just thought I can't stay feeling this way because that's a slippery place for me to feel so dark um, I don't want to go there because I don't want to you know then start extrapolating that food is my solution so it's really important that I protect my mindset it's important that I protect you know that I that I process my feelings so I don't go to that dark place because if we live in that dark place long enough guess what we will overeat if we're emotional eaters uh, really important that I have emotions that support uh, just being healthy and free and uh, and free from the compulsion to overeat. So I was getting really dark and I'm thinking to myself, this, like, I can't sustain, this is too dark. <laughs> like I gotta do something here. And I was feeling overwhelmed. That was pretty much the, the primary feeling I was feeling is I can't do this, it's too much. There's too much on my plate, um, I'm, I'm gonna fail. And what I realized, I, is this my little epiphany, epiphany is that the situation that I'm projecting to be is not as I'm projecting it to be. Like actually what I'm going through is not heavy. Like it's not, over, not overwhelming and not heavy and not too much for me to handle actually. In fact, the situation is not overwhelming at all. What's overwhelming are my thoughts and my feelings. You know, my feelings and, and thought negative thinking was overwhelming me. It was so heavy to be thinking so negatively. But the situation itself wasn't negative. There was nothing wrong. There was nothing wrong, nothing going wrong. There were no problems. I had no problems, but I felt like my world was coming into, to an end. And I realized that when I feel overwhelmed, 
It's not because I am overwhelmed. It's because I have thoughts that are overwhelming. So do you see the difference here? Like my thinking, my thoughts were of the overwhelming type. You know, they were heavy, they were strong, they were self-defeating, they were negative. There was no solution, no way out. It was all dark. And yet the situation was not dark at all. Like on paper, you know, point blank, it was fine. Nothing was going wrong. So I realized that I feel overwhelmed only because of an, a projection of negative thinking. And the situation is, is not overwhelming. And, and when I looked back on situations when I felt overwhelmed, the situation wasn't overwhelming either. Like there are rarely any situations that are actually overwhelming. Sure, you know, we have, you know, terribly overwhelming situations like death and loss of a job or, or um, you know, sickness, illness or tragedy. I mean, there's lots of things that are tough. But the overwhelming part of most of the things we go through that are hard maybe set aside death or something where there's a, a, a you know grief and and really a whole process of deep deep feelings that um that can seem overwhelming what's really overwhelming anytime i feel overwhelmed are my thoughts around it just like the thoughts around my pain are what perpetuate the pain and make it chronic my thoughts around a situation in my life can make the situation seem overwhelming when it really isn't. And this was so liberating when I came across this, this epiphany, when this, this light opened up for me and I saw so clearly that my situation is not overwhelming, my feelings are overwhelming, and my thoughts are making me feel overwhelmed. And there, therefore, the solution is in my thinking. It's how I'm thinking about the situation. And so I just began to see the situation is not overwhelming at all. And when I saw that, I stopped feeling overwhelmed. I'm like, let's look at the reality. This is not overwhelming. There's nothing wrong. The worst case scenario is everything blows up and I start over. Like everything, my entire business blows up. My life blows up. That's the worst case scenario. And or worst case is that I die, but then I wouldn't care. <laughs> so worst case scenario is everything blows up and I start over. And um, which isn't going to happen, you know, by the grace of God. That's I don't think that's in the cards. So the fact is my thinking is out of whack. I have runaway negative thoughts. And when I change my thinking and I see the situation for what it is, which is perfectly manageable uh, with God's help and with support, manageable, very manageable, in which case there's nothing to feel overwhelmed about. And it's only my thoughts. And, and I began to feel grateful. Uh, somebody I work with said, hey, why don't you start being grateful about the situation? Pissed me off when she first said it. I'm like, look, <laughs> This is serious. You know, I was all heavy. I was in a heavy mode. I'm like, what does she tell me to be grateful for? This is serious. Like, it's just like, that's just so trite. <laughs> and then I thought to myself, well, she might have a point. Like, like, I'm certainly not grateful right now. I certainly am thinking about the worst case scenario. What if I were grateful? Like, what if I started thinking a little bit more positively about this? And I started to change my thinking and I started thinking, you know, things are actually good. And there's a lot of, um, a lot of good things in what I'm doing. And a lot of people will be helped. And so hey, there is a lot, of, lot to be grateful for. And again, my thinking turned around and I was no longer feeling overwhelmed. And so I share that with you because it's simple and it's certainly probably not a revelation to you. You know, our, our thoughts create our reality um, or they create a perception of a reality which becomes a reality, but it's not reality. And so um, I, it was a great reminder for me and I'm just sharing it as a reminder to you that when situations feel overwhelmed, when you are besieged by a feeling of overwhelm, like you can't possibly do it all, there's too much on your plate, the kids, the activities, the travel, the job, the boss, the projects, you know, the, the, the duties that we have, the, the uh, you know, obligations we have to people around us, loved ones, all these things that are, that are in front of us and on our plate weighing us down on our shoulders, these things are not actually unmanageable. They're not actually overwhelming us. 
our thoughts about them are overwhelming us. You know, we have thoughts that are too heavy and they're too serious and they're blowing everything out of proportion, in which case everything does seem overwhelming. So I share this with you because you can change an overwhelming situation on a dime when you realize your thoughts about the situation are what are most overwhelming. Not to say we don't have tough situations, not to say we don't have a lot up on our plate and a lot of people tugging at us. That can be your reality as well, but it doesn't have to overwhelm you. It doesn't have to take you out. And it certainly doesn't have to drive you to the kitchen when you realize it is manageable, especially if you ask for help, especially if you ask for help, especially if you stop and recognize that you're feeling overwhelmed in the moment. And that was one of the things I did. And I'll tell you a few things that I did. I paused. I recognized I wasn't actually overwhelmed, just had overwhelming thoughts. I began to think positively about the situation and and recognized, you know, what I was going through, which is just a barrage of negative thinking, uh, you know, a barrage of self-defeating thoughts that weren't true, and then began to think more positively. And then what I did is I prayed and I I gave I gave the situation to my higher power. I said, God, I can't handle this. It's too much for me. I need your help. Like if I'm going to get through this, it's going to be by the grace of God and your support. And, uh, and that prayer helped me so much and it always does. So I highly recommend prayer. You don't have to be a big believer. Just, you know, just, just throw up a prayer and say, you know, this is too much for me on my own unsteady strength, you know, on my, on my, my, my power, which is very weak and very uh, small. So I need, I need your strength, higher power. I need your strength and, uh, and let that, let that be open and receptive to that beautiful, wonderful guidance of spirit and support from spirit. And that's what I did. I paused. I recognized that I was feeling overwhelmed. Okay. Checking in is so important because otherwise we go boom, straight to the food and we don't know what's happening before you know it. We're feeling overwhelmed by what we ate. Whereas if you stop and look at how you're feeling, uh, first, and then recognize that, then you can start working with that and it doesn't have to drive you to eat. So I over, I uh, addressed the feeling of overwhelmed, recognized it for what it was, just negative thoughts and feelings, and um, then began to pray and ask for help because I need help. I always need help. And generally life on my own uh, strength is overwhelming. It's way too much for me. So asking for help from a higher power and from friends and talking to some of, someone about my feelings of overwhelm is helpful too. So if you're part of the Heal Your Hunger community because you, you're in my course, you know how helpful it is to comment and uh, write about your feelings in the Heal Your Hunger community. So if you don't have that uh, kind of community, you, you need one. You need to have people you can reach out to and say, help, I'm feeling overwhelmed just a feeling, but I need support to get through it. So, and that will help tremendously. So I hope this is helpful. It certainly changed my week, absolutely changed my week. And if I keep, if I keep reminding myself of this, it'll change my world. So uh, it can change yours too. That's it. I hope you have a great rest of the week and, uh, and, and really, uh, just embrace love, embrace uh, God, embrace your fellows, and, and by doing so, know that it's all okay, and there's nothing, nothing that needs uh, to overwhelm you. Okay, thanks so much. You guys take care. If you enjoyed this show and want to get free support, insider health info, exclusive invites to events, and more, visit HealYourHunger.com.